Tim, it's been two years since we was last here, but can you tell me about more investments to MJ Allen? Yeah. Uh, well, the biggest uh, significant uh, change that we've had in here is the new die casting cell, which is just to my left, uh, where we produce the latest generation of all-wheel drive transmission that we do for Ford. Uh, we've still got the old plant running at around 20 units a week, but this new one we're currently running at around 80. So that was a significant investment, about half a million pounds or so uh, for the facilities as well as the die machinery. But that investment is actually, uh, I, I presume you're producing more for Ford? Yeah, we're doing more for Ford. That particular product line is getting uh, more successful, more uh, interesting, that's sold all across Europe. Um, in addition to the die casting uh, cell, we've also got the heat treatment unit here. So. Within 24 hours, we've got the castings being heat treated. Another 24 hours later, they're in the machine shop. And within four or five days thereafter, they're being collected by our customer. We've tried to do as much of the work in-house as we can, from the casting to the machining. Uh, we do the chemical testing and the dye penetrant, mechanical testing. Everything is under this one roof, or at least on this site. So we try and be a one-stop shop as much as possible. So it's been quite successful for the investment here, but how about the sand casting side of your business? Yeah, sand casting, well that's, uh, originally we were pattern makers and that led into the sand casting and that's still very much at the core of what we do. Uh, we do a range of materials, aluminium, iron and bronze. Uh, we can cast a gross weight up to three tonnes in iron, a tonne in aluminium, a tonne in bronze. So we're doing uh, lower quantities but of larger complexity uh, in our sand uh, casting shops. Uh, and those castings then go into our machine shop so we can supply them fully machined as well. I see you've had a little bit of investment in that sort of area on machine tools, what you've all recently. Yeah, it's, it's spend, spend, spend. So we've invested in the inspection side of the, uh, of the machine shop as well. We've got CMMs in an air conditioned environment uh, because some of the products that we do, we don't want them moving around because there are different temperatures and also machinery. We're always investing in new kit, either replacing or adding to capacity. And what's for the future, Tim? Well, the thing that we're looking at now is some robotic arm fettling. So uh, uh, we're expecting some kit in that uh, we should be own operational in about three months. So uh, we'll be taking some of the arm work out of the job and having a robot doing all the uh, cutting off and some pre-machining ops. So any OEMs or general manufacturing companies that's looking to put capacity out there, do you have capacity available? Yeah, we're open for business, big, small, uh, castings only, machining only, or the whole package, it's all available. Pleasure to be back, Tim. Thanks very much. Great, great to see you. Thanks for coming.